West Asia happens to be one of the worst affected regions in the world from climate change and its many consequences. But what countries are not talking about is military pollution. The U.S. military is one of the worst polluters in West Asia. If the United States was a nation in the region, it would be the eighth largest polluter in West Asia. Our next report explains more. Have a look. The COP26 summit has been touted as the most coveted climate summit of our times. But since its inception, the COP has been failing to deliver. This year was no different. The goal was to reduce humanity's carbon footprint. In focus were fossil fuels, net zero goals and climate finance. But missing from the discussion were armed forces. Western militaries are major polluters. For years, this has been a closely guarded secret. Greenhouse emissions are on the rise in West Asia, but insert the word national interest and conservation is forced to take a back seat. The prime example is the US military. It is the planet's largest institutional consumer of petroleum. Also the single largest producer of greenhouse gases. Sample this. From 2001 to 2017, the US military produced around 1.2 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions. 400 million tons were directly accountable to the post 9-11 wars, like those in Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria. To put it into context, if the US military was a country in West Asia, it would be the region's eighth largest emitter of greenhouse gases. The main cause behind these emissions is the burning of jet fuel. For example, the coveted US F-35 fighter jet burns around 5,600 litres of fuel every hour. To put this into perspective, it would take 1,900 cars to guzzle a similar amount of fuel over the same period. But when it comes to killing terrorists or taking on adversaries, who cares about mileage? But fuel consumption is only a part of the tale. Its carbon footprint is even worse. Moving equipment and transporting them leaves a massive carbon footprint behind. One that is rarely accounted for in balance sheets. Add the manufacturing of weapon systems and ammunition and you have a problem no one is talking about. Another layer to the US military's climate impact is destabilizing actions in the region. Like burn pits, the US Army usually sets fire to their garbage. It is a way to get rid of it. But this releases a myriad of toxic pollutants, making it difficult for anyone around to breathe. The pollution stemming from these often lead to health problems, which affect contractors, civilians and even locals living around these pits. In 1997, the world came together to address climate change. The leaders signed the Kyoto Protocol, mandating nations to cut their greenhouse gas emissions. But the US sought an exemption. It refused to reveal its military emissions on the grounds of protecting national security. In the Paris Agreement of 2015, things did change, but not for the better. Countries could voluntarily report on military emissions, but very few have come forward. Even at COP26 this year, the issue of military emissions remains shrouded behind the veils. For years, military pollution is the skeleton in the West's climate closet. They neither talk about it nor act on it. But bearing the brunt of their action is West Asia as the region is battered by climate change. The West must know that the time for climate action and accountability is now. But is anyone listening? Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.